Hi everybody, how are you today? Happy Monday. This week I thought we would do one more uh, group of fairy tales. Uh, this one is one that you know about a little girl with blonde hair who goes into the woods and meets up with three bears. Uh, today's story is, is mostly mostly this story. It's a little different. It's a little bit of a fractured fairy tale in that it some things are kind of silly and, and, and crazy, but it's mostly this, this true story. Then on uh, Wednesday, we'll read another version of Fractured Fairy Tale this time. And then on Friday, the, ver the story we're going to read does have Goldilocks in it. But it will have, um, it's kind of like the Stinky Cheese Man, how that book had all the different fairy tale characters coming into it. Well, that's kind of what this story, this one on Friday, is going to be about. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the week. But for today, we're going to read this version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's retold and illustrated by James Marshall. Now he won an award for um, for the Caldecott Honor Book, and it was the pick of the lists, a notable book. So um, that's pretty neat that it, that he got the award for it. I'm I don't remember if Caldecott or Newberry is for the the illustrator, but. Since it's not an original story, I'm thinking maybe it's for his illustrations. But let's find out what happens in this story. Once there was a girl called Goldilocks. What a sweet child, said someone new in town. That's what you think, said a neighbor. One morning... Goldilocks's mother sent her to buy muffins in the next village. You must promise not to take the shortcut through the forest, she said. I've heard that bears live there. I promise, said Goldilocks. But to tell the truth, Goldilocks was one of those naughty little girls who do exactly as they please. Uh-oh, so I bet you can guess what's going to happen, huh? Here's the shortcut through the woods. There's some signs here. It's a danger, very risky. Not a good idea. Turn back, go the other way. Will she follow those signs or will she, um, will she end up doing her own thing? So if you know the story of Goldilocks, you know what she ends up doing, huh? Meanwhile, in a clearing, Deeper in the forest, in a charming house all their own, a family of brown bears was sitting down to breakfast. You can see them in the house. There's a chicken on the roof. Oh, they've got their little hive of bees so they can have their honey because we know bears like honey. Just ask Winnie the Pooh. <clears throat> oh, patooey, cried old Papa Bear. This porridge is scalding. I've burnt my tongue. I'm dying, cried Baby Bear. Oh, now really, said Mother Bear, who was of medium size. That's quite enough. I know, said Papa Bear. Why don't we go for a spin while the porridge is cooling? Oh, excellent, said Mama Bear. So they got on their rusty old bicycle and off they went. This is what I was talking about. Do bears ride bicycles? No. Only in the circus, maybe. But not for real. So that makes it a little bit of a fractured fairy tale, but not completely. It still follows the same story. A few minutes later, Goldilocks arrived at the bear's house. She walked right in without even bothering to knock. On the... Was that good manners? Don't think so. On the dining room table were three inviting bowls of porridge. Hmm, I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, helping herself to the biggest bowl. 
but the porridge in the biggest bowl was much too hot. Patooey, said Goldilocks, and she spat it out. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl, but that porridge was much too cold. Then Goldilocks tasted the porridge in the little bowl, and it was just right. In fact, she liked it so much, she gobbled it all up. Feeling full and satisfied, Goldilocks thought it would be great fun to have a look around. Right away, she noticed a lot of coarse brown fur everywhere. Hmm, they must have kitties, she said. In the parlor, there were three chairs. Ah, oh, I don't mind if I do, climbing into the biggest one. But the biggest chair was much too hard. She just couldn't get comfortable. Look at, she's hanging upside down on that chair. That is a very big chair for a little girl. Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair. But that chair was much too soft, and she thought she might never get out of it. Look at, she sunk right into it. Then Goldilocks sat in the little chair, and that was just right neither too hard nor too soft. In fact, she liked it so much, she rocked and rocked until the chair fell completely to pieces. Oh no, whose chair was that? I think it was Baby Bear's chair. Will Baby Bear be happy? I don't think so. Now all that rocking left Goldilocks quite tuckered out. <sighs> she said, I could use a little snooze. So she went to, to look for a comfy place to nap. Upstairs, there were three beds. I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks. And she got into the biggest one. But the head of the biggest bed was much too high. Look at how it goes down now. Oh, look at Papa Bear. He's got rabbit slippers that he wears. That's silly. Next, she tried the medium-sized bed, but the head of the bed was much too low. See how this one swoops down now? Our feet are way up high. Then Goldilocks tried the little bed, and it was just right. Soon, she was all nice and cozy and sound asleep. She did not hear the bears come home. Look at Little Bear's room. Oh my goodness. He's just like every other little kid. His room's a little messy. That Bear family sure likes books, though. They have books everywhere. That's nice that they like to read, doesn't it? The three bears were mighty hungry, but when they went in for breakfast, they could scarcely believe their eyes. <gasps> Somebody has eaten my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone has eaten my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone has eaten my porridge, said Baby Bear, and, and they've eaten it all up. Oh, Baby Bear's not too happy. In the parlor, the three bears were in for a little surprise. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and it broke to smithereens. Ah, oh, poor Baby Bear. His porridge is gone, his chair is broken. Huh. The three bears went upstairs on tiptoe, not knowing what they would discover. At first, everything seemed fine, but then Papa Bear lay down on his big brass bed. Somebody's been lying in my bed, he cried, and he was not amused, not happy. Egads, cried Mama Bear, somebody's been lying in my bed. Look, cried Baby Bear, somebody's been lying in my bed and she's still there. Now, see here, roared Papa Bear. 
Goldilocks woke up with a start, and her eyes nearly popped out of her head. But before the bears could demand a proper, proper explanation, Goldilocks was out of bed, out the window, and on her way home. Who was that little girl? asked Baby Bear. I have no idea, said Mama Bear, but I hope we never see her again. And they never did. She's running home. So that is the real story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, minus them riding a bike and having a bed in a house, but that's the true story of the of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So on Wednesday, we will read another version. This is just called Goldilocks. And this time it was written by Dom DeLuise. Now Dom DeLuise was a comedian when I was your age and he was very funny. And as he got older, he decided to write this book. Now it was illustrated by Christopher Santoro. Um, but it's Dom DeLuise's story. So it, it, it is a good fractured fairy tale for Goldilocks. So we will read that on Wednesday. Now my friends, I'm running a little late today. So I'm going to skip my little song. And I will just wish you a happy Monday, a wonderful Tuesday. Stay cool tomorrow. It's supposed to be very hot. Um, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.